this big. Our little human has a four-chambered, beating heart. He or she is roughly one centimeter or half an inch long and roughly the size of a wild blueberry. At eight weeks, the average embryo is 0.6 inches or 1.6 centimeters long. Your little bean is also moving now. Well, more like twitching and stretching, but still movement nonetheless. At nine weeks, your baby is measuring in at around 0.9 inches or 2.3 centimeters long. Your little one's heart is beating at around 170 beats per minute. At 10 weeks, your baby is about 1.2 inches long or equivalent to 3.2 centimeters long. At this point, your baby has lost the tail it once had, and although there are no finger nails yet, the fingerprints are in fact starting to develop. At 11 weeks, your little one is roughly 1.6 inches or 4.2 centimeters long. The thing that you might be most excited about, knowing whether or not your baby is a boy or a girl, is still in the process of forming, as you can see here. By week 12, your little one is 3.15 inches or 8 centimeters long. They can open and close their hands and curl their 10 little toes, which by the way, does not have webbing between them anymore. At week 13, your baby is roughly 3.75 inches long, which is equivalent to roughly 9.5 centimeters. The bones beneath the still mostly transparent skin continue to grow stronger and get longer and harder. Meanwhile, your little jalapenos fingertips are covered in their own unique fingerprints at this point. Well, at week 14, your baby is roughly four inches or 10 centimeters in length from head to butt. Arms are lengthening and becoming more proportional with the rest of their body size. And the enormous amount of brain growth makes it possible for them to now make facial expressions like grimacing, grinning, frowning, gasping, and even sucking their thumb. By the end of week 15, our little one is 4.75 inches or roughly 12 centimeters in length. You can even see the blood vessels beneath the skin. Their ears look more recognizable as actual human ears now, and their eyes have shifted forward towards the middle of their head or towards their nose. By the end of week 16, our little one is roughly 5.31 inches or 13.5 centimeters long. Their urinary and circulatory systems are starting to fully function, which is extra cool because that means that their little heart is pumping nearly 25 quarts of blood per day. Your baby is a little over 5.75 inches or 14 and a half centimeters. His or her ears have now also fully formed, meaning that their hearing is also developing. Our baby is now roughly 6.29 inches or 16 centimeters long. But most importantly, our baby's myelin sheath, the thing that coats their entire nervous system and allows their brain to essentially send messages to the rest of their body is currently forming on all of their nerves in their brain and nervous system. Our little one is still just under seven inches right now, which is about 17.8 centimeters long. Their kidneys are making urine now and their hair is starting to come in all over their scalp, even if it's just the fine fuzzy hair. Well, by week 20, our baby is roughly 7.75 inches or roughly 19.7 centimeters. Baby is also now fully covered from head to toe in a waxy white substance called the vernix caseosa. Well, our little one has grown to an astonishing eight and a half inches long or roughly 21.6 centimeters long. Baby's eyelids have finished forming this week and they've been quite a busy little banana moving around in there. Our baby is almost 10 inches or 25 centimeters long. His or her skin would still be very wrinkly, so not filled out and chubby like this baby doll is representing. That's because our little ones haven't put on enough fat to look as plump as this baby doll does. Their lips would also still not be as distinct as the lips on this baby doll, although it's getting closer each and every day. Also, their eyes would still be shut. They can be anywhere from 11 to 14 inches at this point, or 28 to 36 centimeters long, which is about the length of a bunch of grapes, as seen in the baby doll model here. There is also a fine hair all over your baby's body right now called lanugo. 
and they can probably taste what you're eating in the amniotic fluid. Our baby is over 12 and a half inches long or roughly 32 centimeters long. So roughly the length of an eggplant as seen in the model here. And our little eggplant likely weighs between one and a quarter to one and a half pounds by now as well. Well, our baby is now about 13 inches long or about 33 centimeters long and could weigh anywhere between one and a half to one and three quarter pounds. So basically our little one is roughly the length of an ear of corn as shown in the model here. By this week, it's pretty common for baby to already be head down getting ready for birth. Our baby is now about 13.38 inches or 34 centimeters in length. The majority of their bodily systems and functions are in place at this point and the majority of their development from here on forwards is dealing with gaining height and weight. Their eyes have probably opened at this point as well. And onto what our little one looks like this week. Our baby is about, if we were lowballing this value here, 13.75 inches or 35 centimeters long. Our little one should be able to open and close their eyes now at this point, and they have their own sleep and wake cycle. Our baby is roughly 14 and a quarter inches long or roughly 36 centimeters. The one thing they are gaining very quickly this week is brain tissue. So before their brain looked very smooth and this week marks the beginning of getting those beautiful grooves all throughout their brain as it grows and develops. They'll be a baby Einstein before you know it. I'm having so much acid right now, it's not even funny. At 39 weeks, our baby is now roughly the length of 14 and a half inches or 37 centimeters. The biggest and most important thing going on with our baby right now is that they are putting on all of that weight and their lungs are further developing and maturing. Our little one is roughly 15 inches or 38.5 centimeters. The lanugo is now starting to fall off and the reason for that is because they're gaining enough fat underneath their skin to keep them warm. And what does our little mover look like this week? And what are they up to in there? Our little one is definitely over 15 and a half inches or 39.4 centimeters by now, probably within the range of 16.5 to 17.5 inches realistically. And he or she weighs anywhere between three and a half to four pounds or 1.6 to 1.8 kilograms. They can turn their head from side to side, which also makes it possible for them to assault us from the inside with their kicks and their punches and their somersaulting in general. And now with only eight weeks left to get to a 40 week full term little one, what is going on in there? Our little one is likely over 16 inches or 40.6 centimeters long and typically weighs between four or four and a half pounds or anywhere between 1.8 and two kilograms. His or her toenails and fingernails have fully formed and they're still practicing their breathing with their lungs expanding and sucking in all of that amniotic fluid. And at 33 weeks young, what is our little one up to in there? Our baby is roughly 16 and a half inches or 42 centimeters long, but they could be as long as 19 inches at this point. And they probably weigh somewhere between four and a half to six pounds. Your little one is likely at least as long as an English seedless cucumber, as demonstrated in the model here. They're gaining about half a pound a week from here on forwards. They're also starting to keep their eyes open while they're awake in there. So this is a really fun time to try that whole uh, flashlight on your belly trick and see what their reaction is. Well, our not so little little one now is around 17 and a half or 18 inches long or roughly equivalent to 44.5 centimeters long, which if we scrunched up the baby doll would be about the size of a cabbage as shown in the model here. And they are likely weighing somewhere around five and a half pounds at this point, although this varies vastly from baby to baby. And uh, that would be a pretty heavy cabbage though, five and a half pounds. The good news is, is that at this point, their lungs are pretty well developed. Oh, and a uh, fun fact, your little one is peeing out about a pint of pee a day and they're getting that first nasty tarry meconium poop ready just for you. The clock is ticking for our little one's arrival. And just what are they up to in there at this point? Our baby is mainly continuing to grow and they're likely between 17 and 18 inches now 
or 43.2 to 45.7 centimeters long. Our little one's kidneys are fully developed and their liver is also starting to process waste. And what is our baby up to at week 36 of pregnancy? Our baby is likely between 17 and a half and 19 inches long or 44.5 to 48.3 centimeters long at this point. And they likely weigh at least five and three quarter pounds and could probably weigh past six and three quarter pounds, but somewhere within that range, probably. The baby is probably still around the length of this baguette as seen in the model here. The fine lanugo hair that was all over your baby is starting to fall off at this point, along with the vernix cassiosa. Our baby is probably about 18 inches or 45.7 centimeters long. So not much has changed since last week's length, but their weight is probably at least a half a pound greater since last week. So somewhere around six to seven pounds by now. And you can see this added weight in comparison to a Swiss chard for the length. Even though our baby is considered full term after this 37th week, it's still best to have our little one baking for a little while longer in terms of brain development. With only two more weeks left of gestation, what's our little one up to in there? Just to reiterate again from past videos, at this point during pregnancy, baby lengths and weights and sizes in general can vary vastly from one person to another. But right now we can assume that our little one is somewhere within the range of 17 to 20 inches long or 43.2 to 50.8 centimeters long. And they likely weigh between 6.25 and 7.5 pounds. So about the length of a leak as seen in the model here. Although the majority of our little one's organs are fully functional, their brains and their lungs are still going to continue to mature. In fact, the human brain isn't fully developed until age 25, by the way. You're probably pretty excited and maybe a little nervous at this point to meet your little one and gaze into those beautiful, cute little eyes. And you might be wondering what color eyes do they have? Well, if they happen to have brown eyes, chances are that they're going to stay brown. However, if your baby is born with gray or blue eyes, then they could change to green, brown, or hazel in nine months time from now. And what is our little bundle of joy up to in there at 39 weeks of pregnancy? Our baby is now between 18 and 20 and a half inches or so, or 45.7 to 52 centimeters long. So still about the length of a leak, as we said last week, as seen in the model here. Difference being this week is that your baby probably weighs somewhere between six and a half to eight pounds, unless you're giving birth to quite the chunker, like my mom did at 10 pounds. As in prior weeks, our baby is still putting on all of that fat under their skin in order to be able to regulate their own body temperature when they enter into the big world. But what's extra cool right now that your baby's doing is that they're probably replacing their older skin cells with newer skin cells, which I think is pretty cool. This would be week 42 if I was still pregnant. <laughs>